with a winning record on the line, only the season finale remained. Again, the Jets would have to contend with a team fighting for a playoff berth, but this time, the visitors came to claim the championship of a city as well. The Giants conjured up Super Bowl memories, but the Jets displayed the superior defense. Number 94, Scott Mercero, helped hold the Giants' running game in check, while number 92, linebacker Ken Rose's three sacks led a tenacious pass rush that dropped Giant quarterback Phil Simms eight times, the Jets' highest sack total in seven years. The torch was then passed to the Jets' offense, which built a 13-7 halftime lead. Second and eight at the 44. O'Brien goes back to pass, throws long, deep down to the left side to Walker. Ahead of everyone, he's down to the 15, the 10, and tackles the six-yard line. Pass into the right side. Touchdown! we got 30 more minutes! 30 more minutes of hard work, then we'll close the chapter! Yeah. In the second half, the Jets received an early lift from the special teams. Phil standing on his own, 32. Phil McConkey back on his own, 11. A not too deep kick, a quivering spiral coming down to the 16-yard line. McConkey fumbles the ball. It's loose, rolling free. It's recovered by the... Still loose. It's gone for a touchdown. It's a touchdown. A technicality in the rules gave the Jets the ball at the giant six-yard line, from which point actually scoring the touchdown was a mere technicality itself. Slip right. Cuts off right tackle, goes, touchdown! Touchdown off right The Jets' lead appeared secure, but a playoff-hungry giant offense would not be denied. Now he's under the center, takes the snap back, looks left and right, touchdown! Touchdown, Lionel Manuel! Two late giant touchdowns left the Jets gasping for air, and with nothing to play for but their pride, the Jets clung to their final breath. Burned on the Giants' last touchdown, Bobby Humphrey rebounded with a critical burst of special teams energy that propelled the Jets into Giant territory. Hope flickered as time ticked away, but when Ken O'Brien stared into a do-or-die third-down situation, he found Mickey Schuler for the biggest first down of the year. Schuler carried the Jets safely into field goal range, but on the season's final drive, the Jets weren't about to play it safe. Go on! Take it off! O'Brien looking right and left. A pass into the left corner. Touchdown! In the 60th minute of the 16th game, the Jets showed they still had the strength to win. Their 27-21 upset victory over the Giants crowned a season in which the Jets conquered long odds with resiliency and optimism. It was an exercise in valor and an affirmation of Jets.